praise the Lord, praise the living Jesus. How are you doing today? Thank you so much for tuning in on to Am for Christ Gospel Messages. Thank you so much. Your support is greatly appreciated. Just a quick reminder in case if you've not subscribed, please kindly take your time right now and subscribe. Just click that button. Extend to YouTube in case if you have not if you're not watching from YouTube, extend to YouTube and just click the subscribe button and also the bell which gives you notification to be aware of all our video uploads and god bless you more for your support thank you once again thank you so much greatly appreciated today we're going to continue in our message under the message titled god's coverage uh part two there was emphasis about your relationship our personal relationship with God, having personal relationship with God. And we're actually going to be talking in that reverence today. But before we go into the word of the Lord, let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you and give you all the glory, Lord Jesus, our light, our life, the purpose of our existence to reflect the glory of God, our Creator. We thank you, O Lord Jesus, for dying for us on the cross of Calvary, for coming on earth to be a good example for us that we may follow you to perfectly please the Heavenly Father to eternity. In Jesus' name, we thank you for teaching us your word. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. I hope you were doing well. I hope everything is well with you. God bless you. Okay, so um, today's message is titled, Your Relationship. Your relationship. This is not just any relationship, but your relationship focusing about God, your relationship with the Most High God, your Creator, your Maker. And when we talk about relationship, um, we we were trying to emphasize about something, um, your 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 communication, your your rapport, your your conversation, um, the, the this friendly um, awareness between two or more people that you could easily like that something that actually easily draw you together. You have a relationship with someone. You you care about this person. You love this person you are concerned about the well-being of this person and as well you are expecting that in your relationship you are expecting that this person cares about you this person is concerned about you if you are trying to seek help you could easily call on this person this person is there to listen to you to yak to you to think with you to 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 to, to help you to assist you and so on and so forth like that and when we're talking about our relationship with God first thing we need to understand is that God actually has been playing his own role is part about showing that love just about the emphasis just shared right now he has been showing that love he has been showing that care and concern about us about we is courageous and taking it personally, he has been showing that consign for me. He has been showing that consign for you. He has been showing that love. He's ready to listen to us. He's ready to pay attention when we call upon him, when we cry to him. He's ready to pay attention to us. God is playing that role. Now, he's expecting us to also respond in love. The book of 1 John chapter 4 verse 19 stated, We love him because he first loved us. And the emphasis is to reflect that he first loved us. Amen. So now, even according to this verse, saying we love him. Now the question is, do you love God? When we need, uh, when we want, when we are reflecting about our relationship with God, it has to be involved with our love for Him. And Jesus Christ instructed us, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength, and with all your soul. There is importance about we loving God when it comes to our personal relationship with 
God. Praise the Lord. And we're made to understand, even in God's coverage, that yes, when we, when we want to receive God's coverage, when we are seeking to receive God's coverage, we should also have a personal relationship with Him, that we could communicate with Him, that we could be able to like, yes, you are my Father, you are my God, you, we have confidence that yes, I have a relationship with this God, I have a personal I can easily just communicate with him and he will listen to me praise the Lord we need to develop our relationship with him understanding the fact that yes he loved us the book of Philippians chapter uh, 2 verse 5 made us to understand that it says hey, you should have the same mindset that Jesus Christ had and talking about the mindset that Jesus Christ had we saw in the in the book of Matthew when Jesus Christ was being led to the cross Jesus Christ even power to his crucifixion Jesus Christ was worried but yet he still yielded that this is the expectation that the heavenly father wants for me to die for his creatures as we saw in the book of john chapter 3 verse 16 for god so love 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 the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish. So now that the heavenly father now has released, given unto us his only begotten son, Jesus Christ was willing to fulfill that mission, to completely accomplish God's expectation, the heavenly father's expectation of him to die for his creatures. Now, Jesus Christ has died for us, paying the price for us. Yes, he was worried at some points, weary and worried about the pain, but yes, still subject himself to the perfect will of God. In our relationship with God, we need to surrender, we need to be willing to let go of some things that that dear to our heart, of some things that so dear to us, that we need to let it go because it's in doing the fulfillment of God's expectation. Things that could easily begat us, that could easily set us into committing sin, which displeased God. When we get involved in sin, it displeases God. So things that could easily lure us to displease God, our Creator, the one whom we have personal relationship with, we need to separate ourselves from those things and maintain our relationship, maintain our love with God because He first loved us. 1 John chapter 4 verse 19 again and we loved him because he first loved us do you love god i want you to reflect i want you as 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 you journey through this through the the rest of this day even the coming week i want you to reflect about your love for god do you love god I want you to ask God, Lord, I want to, Lord Jesus, help me to love you. Heavenly Father, help me to love you. I want to love you. How can I love you? I want you to pray and just communicate with God. Lord, I want to have a relationship with you. I want to love you. I want to, I want to follow your instructions. I want to please you. Help me to please you. Help me to love you. Help me to have a relationship with you. And the Lord will surely come to your rescue. The Lord will surely pay attention to you. The Lord will surely answer you and respond to you, giving you insight about how you can love Him. How you can develop your personal relationship with Him. How you can demonstrate your love for Him, staying away from every and anything that could make you displease God, whom you love whom you have a personal relationship with. And may the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. 
unto and for Christ's gospel messages. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless you.